Okay, first of all, we want to say thank you. Thank you so much for following our journey, for being with us, for uh, giving us a reason to actually record this album. And uh, and for being subscribed for our newsletter. Yeah. yeah. This is how you knew all the, all the news, all the updates and everything. You have access to it because you're with us and we're happy to do this for you. Absolutely. So the first song we are going to tell you a little bit about is uh, Young and Beautiful. You've already heard it, yeah. The album starts with a song, we believe it's... By the way, what? By the way, what? It's, uh, why I think it sets the vibe to the whole album. It's yeah. like, hey, it's like our motto. these guys have been lying to us, to everybody, and making us believe that, you know, we're useless, that nobody needs us anymore once we're past a certain age, but that's all bullshit. Um, and uh, yeah, this is basically the anthem to everybody who... Um, Who's still young, yeah. Yeah, even if you're 92. Yeah, or 70, but okay, 92 is even better. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and the idea for the video was pretty experimental too, so we bought this 360 camera, just we wanted to show like, what, why did we do this? I don't remember already. Because we wanted to have you a part of our experience, a right, part of right. oh, yeah. being, you know, being young at heart. This yep. is the most... Uh, and this is how you get involved in this video. You can watch it, you can like rotate it, rotate your phone or device or whatever. It's just, it's an amazing experience we think. And, uh, so closer to the song itself. Oh, yeah. I honestly don't remember how I read it. I like, remember this. At all. Go ahead. Uh, we had a photo shoot that day, do you remember, with Matt? And then we came home and you started writing something and I was jamming. So yeah, I don't remember exactly what happened, but the idea was we were just, we just, basically we just lost our band, right? So there was just two of us remains and uh, we decided just to move forward, you know, to take it. And, and write something up. very yeah. uplifting, yeah, something, you know, and, and positive. Yeah, that's that's why this is my go-to song for sad mood. If I'm in, in a sad mood, you know, if I feel that I'm I'm going down a little bit, then I turn this on, and Alex hates it because no, no, I no, make I love, it. I love this. No, song no, no. Too. I mean, he hates it when I play it super loud, but yeah, I do, yeah. and I recommend you doing the same thing. No, when you drive, don't do this. No, you want to be like focused on the on the driving. Don't do this when you when you have a wheel. But yeah, I think this song describes us like musically very good because we show we have we have shown so many like genres and styles in this song. We mix everything we could, right? Like disco, heavy heavy rock, heavy metal. It describes us what we are musically. Okay, the next one, Gone. Oh my God. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alex, what do you have to say about this song? And remember, we have to be very careful about this right. one. The first name of this song was F You. Okay, <laughs> so he's careful right away. <laughs> yeah. So, um, this song started with the riff and. Uh, it's like grungy. Yeah, and the first. I remember my first impression when I heard what he recorded because when Alex creates music it he, was winter it was cold this is what I remember about it yeah so when he creates arrangements he usually does it uh, right away like bass okay drums bass and then he records guitar and then you can listen to the whole piece, piece of, of the music, song yeah. it's just like eight bars or something and he recorded those guitars those in the beginning and when I hear this note I'm like what the hell is this? Trying what is this? And and I'm t and I I remember I told him we need to change that. And he looked at me as if I was mad. He looked at me as like we're we'll never we're never changing this. This this is like the best yeah, taste of this song. And yeah, and or later it's, it's funny I that. dug it so much. This is so destructive. This is so destructive. And um. Yeah, basically, uh, in this song, we, uh, how to say that? It's saying it's a farewell song to our previous band members. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, well, you know. Even though it sounds like a romantic song between, like, two people who are in love, it's not, right? Yeah, it's basically a song that you can play when when you can't do this anymore with anyone. Yeah. If, if it's friendship or relationship 
or you know it's just when you're any part, it up to any, this any kind of up to here <laughs> yeah um you haven't he heard this one yet i guess if you have then uh, you know what we're talking about please forgive me wow i still remember how you came up to the lyrics and uh, that was something very uh very touching because the melody you've created right away i remember i was sleeping after work <laughs> and you've been jamming this on, on guitar yeah and then i just i dropped it i said listen come over here and play this damn guitar for me right now and i was lazy and didn't want to <laughs> and and the lyrics oh my god i i love this song from the point of view of the lyrics because this just came up to me it feels as if i tore my heart away and then later he said you know you should start the second verse with the same phrase you should keep it because it, it is so strong yeah we should repeat it because you want to hear it more and more and and then it also sounds a little bit like Fallout Boy song, the first one from maybe. the from the Infinity on High album. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but this this, why I love it so much. this song again. This song may sound like it it is written about um, love and romantic relationships, but I would say it's it's just some kind of a scream when when of you're so burned yeah. out. When you don't, when you don't know what to do because you when don't you have any fight things. anymore. Yeah, it's just it's about being exhausted from emotions, I guess. Yeah, and then and then when we were working on the arrangement, and I have everything ready. I have the first verse, the chorus, the second verse, and I was so proud of myself about finishing it all because I'm really proud of these lyrics. And then we were working on the arrangement, the song was two minutes long, and I said, listen, we need something else, we need like the third verse or something, and then I said, it should be in Russian, it should be in Russian, and Alex just, he just sat down, he said, give me, give me five minutes, and in five minutes, he was done with the whole third verse, which is almost the translation of the whole song, it, brings the same yeah, vibe it's and the same idea yeah. yeah and then we we just we were th so thrilled to realize we can finally be so free to mix russian and english because we've never done it before within one song and we thought it, this is so us nobody else is going to do the same and we thought you will appreciate it because yeah. so many of you uh, learn mm -hmm. russian in in it's just very very special we thought it would be interesting so um let us know what you think how you like this experiment and uh, we're moving to the next one yeah it's a nice touching song first time this is the first time of my life i do it right as i should have done it before Bravo. <laughs> well um yeah what else can i say about this one ba -ba! And uh, yeah, it's been a long journey to understanding what we want to do, what we want to, where we want to be, and it's about all of us. You know, we have to fail so many times to finally realize how things should be done. Yeah, to learn. And the best thing we all can do is, you know, to get up after failing and just mm -hmm. keep doing what we love doing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I agree hundred percent. What do you want to say about the music? That the music is. I remember I've done the arrangement pretty fast. Uh, it took me about one day or a few days, something like this. Yeah, it's a, it's an uplifting song. I love it. Yeah, and I think it's more energetic uh, and dynamic song from the album. Yeah. Actually, this is really funny. But there's songs on the album that you think, okay, they're fine, and then you record them, and then you listen to them yeah. for the first time, and you're yeah. like. Shit! Yeah, yeah. This is sick! It, because we weren't considering uh, like this song as a hit, right? No, not at Just, all! Yeah, like a strong song, but not a hit. Obviously. And then and then every time, listen, every time you write a song, you fall in love with it many times. So first you write it and you first play it and it all comes together, the chords in, in the lyrics and you just like put it on your tongue and you taste it and but you then, fall in love with it. But then you put it away. Then, then you, you play it for a few days and you're like, okay, good, um, meh, you know, whatever. And then, and then you record it, you start recording it and you fall in love with it and you listen to it 
and it's not mixed yet, but you can already hear what it's going to sound like. Yeah. And you fall in love again. And then the next time you you receive it and it's mixed and, and you just fucking can't stop listening to it because you're so in love again. Yeah, it's such a multi-stage like process. Yeah, and so Starting this from is... The, from the beginning, from the writing. Yeah. So this is how it happened with the uh, first time. Yeah, I love how the album like uh, builds up. So we start with like, not, not mellow songs, but the tempo goes up. So by the fourth song, by the fourth song, it's like that high. But then it goes down a little bit. I don't agree. And that's BBS. why we're going... We're not arguing. To the fifth... These are facts. To the fifth song. So this one is called re -all. Real. It's the first song from the album, isn't it? It's the first song uh, that was recorded out of all these songs um, because I think we. When did we finish it? Last year in summer. It's been a while, yeah. And we had to keep it because we thought it had such a great potential. And then we we had you know all those. Uh, arguments happening in the band and this song just didn't fit anywhere because it sounded so dreamy so bubblegum -y. and 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 we just wanted to keep it for ourselves at first we thought we would release it right. under Nika Comet right, right because we just wanted to release it anyway. yeah and Alex got really really upset because you love this song yeah I love this song no it's not about being upset I just I, it's like it's laying it's laying in the shelf, uh, on the shelf, and you're like, you want to share this song with, with people. And it's losing its actuality, that's actuality, what you yeah, said? Yeah, I don't that's, know. that's, that's what I felt about it, yeah, but... But anyway, luckily, this... Yeah, it's on the album. Even, listen, even if you prefer heavy music, this is the flying song. This is when you play it, and you're in Nirvana, you're there, you know, like, that first breath, imagine you wake up, in in like you open the window and there's sun shining after a long long winter and you're just breathing in wow and this I love this fantasy this yeah, is the song for this feeling because we don't create songs just like everybody else just you know the same songs we create moods and that's why this is important to have such a song to Breathe, breathe in yeah. happiness and exercise all your stress. Good song. Thank you, Nika. Great lyrics.